guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and i really appreciate your time so i'm just going to be um giving my opinion on this foolishness <laughs> concerning social media reacting to drake's son um looking white basically <laughs> Oh, and there, this is obviously a podcast style, so hope that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, I am just really confused as to why you guys um, were not aware that Drake Aubrey Graham is biracial. Um... <laughs> I mean, I get for like a certain generation, like, okay, I was born in 1992. So I grew up watching Degrassi and specifically the season of Degrassi with uh, Jimmy and, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. But pretty much the rest of the cast, like the most successful well-known cast of Degrassi is the cast that had Drake who played this guy a basketball player he got shot in um, a school shooting which caused him to have to be in a wheelchair so this is what I know Drake from really and probably this is why I can't accept him as this semi gangster rapper semi um west indian I, <laughs> I, just, I don't take him seriously but i've always known drake was biracial getting back to that i've always known that about him um now i will say going back to what i was saying about people of you know that are possibly born after 2000 um drake has absolutely changed his look to match the persona of the rapper that he's trying to you know basically portray like that's he's a rapper now so you have to look like a rapper so he's kept his hair low kind of you know put on the look of the cool black man with the lineup and the beard and the jewelry. So because a lot of times we don't we don't really assign blackness to someone just based off of their phenotype. It's also based off of the way they perform and the way that they look. So he presents as a black man right so because of this i think a lot of people have forgotten that he is indeed biracial white mom black dad so then you guys see his son adonis his son has pretty much all of the recessive traits that white people have because even you have to understand something about genetics is um blonde hair and blue eyes is a recessive trait even in the caucasian race um that is not um as common as we think it is or as we associate it with white people it's actually still recessive for them but yeah his son looks the way he looks because his dad is half white and I believe his mom is French, I want to say. So she's white. And when a biracial person has a child with a white person, that child is going to most likely look white um, because obviously, genetically, they have a higher um, percentage of white or should I say Caucasian DNA? And this just makes sense, guys. <laughs> like, I don't understand 
Well, no. And this is why I got on here to do my commentary. I do understand, going back to my point about Drake being biracial but presenting black. And of course he has to present as black because he's rapping and using nigga. And I'm sure it'd be very uncomfortable. Maybe not. You have a lot of weird black people who are divorced from their blackness. So maybe for them it's not. But for people like me, I I take it's very difficult when a person that does not look black to me that I don't receive as black says nigga. So that goes for Cardi B, um, Doja Cat. Like for me, I'm not really here for that. I don't like it um, because my thing is the whole thing with nigga, which I'm sure many people have said, but I'm going to again say it is it's essentially black people who, you know, typically look black and therefore would have been the ones targeted by that word as well as all of the violence that comes with um, historically uh, that time, the lynching and all of that. Those are the people who are reclaiming it. So people with dark skin, kinky hair, wide noses, wide lips, brown eyes, people that you look at them and you say they black. Or people who have this set of features that when we think black, we think is unattractive. Let's let's try that. Since that's let's make that very clear. So that is why there's some ownership or some should i say exclusivity when it comes to using that word because people who would have been directly hurt or targeted are reclaiming it so it's very strange and uncomfortable when people who would not be considered black and would not be uh sort of in that space um because of their phenotype walking around saying nigga, nigga, and this, and this, and niggas. Like, on one level, I understand the word nigga is like, as to hip hop, as, I don't know, maybe, I say as the guitar is to country. I understand oftentimes if you're gonna be a rapper and you're gonna join the hip hop space, you're going to sound like the people that you've been listening to, which are usually black people with a certain phenotype saying this word. So you go and say it. So that's why Drake becoming, you know, pivoting from being this Canadian actor to being this much more <clears throat> um, serious rapper that says things like started from the bottom that's why he has to have this persona of I'm black. So like I said, keeping the hair cut low so that you don't see his texture and getting facial hair that you usually see black men wearing. Doing His whole persona has changed to fit what he has to represent as a rapper. And so that's why I believe a lot of people are fooled into believing that he is black. And really, I think this also goes back to the way in the black community in particular, we don't distinguish biracial from black people. We kind of lump them in together. Excuse me. And sometimes we can do that because you'll have biracial people who phenotypically more so look black and therefore identify with black culture and then their racial habit is is black American. So it's all very easy. But then you have biracial people who phenotypically have more of a fringe kind of set of uh, features and no one is looking at them and like, oh, you're black. And we'll still accept them. 
and just say, oh, everyone, we're all black, we're all black. I've never really been on that type time. <laughs> I haven't. I, because like I said, blackness is not always a positive thing, right? There's definitely pieces of the phenotypes of black Americans as well as our culture that is marketable, that is popular, that everyone wants to put on to be cool and to be popping. And, but then there's a pain to blackness that those same people, those same non-black people don't wanna access. And me as a black woman, I don't have a choice when it's when I'm cool, when I'm cute, when I'm exotic, when I'm sexy, or when I'm ugly, lazy, uneducated, too dark, my hair is not, like, I don't have a choice, right? So I have a problem with certain people being able to step in and out of blackness when it's lucrative or when it's convenient for them. So I don't, I don't really get down with that, that whole we all black. No, we not. Because the black people that are really black, as I just said, you don't have a choice. You don't, ha you don't get to decide, oh, um, I'm going in for a job interview. Let me um, show my texture, my biracial hair texture, and play up my white skin. Mention my white mom real slickly and yeah, let me just non-black if I'm like, no, like <laughs> this doesn't happen. So it's really weird to me that this is, you know, still happening. And then when you go back to 2019 with the whole black fishing thing, that was only possible to happen because enough people don't know what black is and black isn't. That's the only reason why that was able to happen. That's the only reason why a white girl with clearly white features is able to darken her skin. Put on a textured wig, put on some dark brown contacts, get her body done, and pose as a whole ass black woman for years, make money being an influencer, and people was cool with it. Because we don't know what black looks like. And that's crazy because when it comes to the negative connotations of it, we do. <laughs> like, this is wild. Like, guys, biracial people are biracial, okay? When they have kids with a non-black person, specifically, a white person, if they're biracial, as in black and white, and they have a child with a white person, their child is going to look white. The blackness will be erased. I know hoteps are good for saying, oh, the black man's, <clears throat> sorry, let me come up with a hotep, go ahead. Uh, the, the black man is dominant and you know, whenever I plant my seed in a woman, that seed is black, my child. No, that's not true. No. It's, no. <laughs> no. Blackness can be erased like that, okay? Um, so guys, that's pretty much what I have to say. I can talk about this topic forever because it annoys the fuck out of me. But the reality is, Y'all surprised because y'all fell for it. Y'all thought Drake was black and y'all expected his baby to look like him. <laughs> but his baby does because his mama is white. All right, I'm done. Uh, thanks, guys. Be blessed. <laughs>